the very beginning of this segment, we have some very crucial news that we are bringing to you. This is with regards to the new criminal laws and its implementation. Now, the government notifies that 1st of July 2024 is the day from which the new criminal laws will come into force. This is the particular breaking news that we are getting to you. Remember, uh, we will uh, speak to Arunima currently, uh, who's joining us on this broadcast to bring us more details with regards to this particular information that we just brought to you. Arunima, a very good afternoon to you. Very firstly, uh, what we are hearing is that the 1st of July has now officially been announced to be the 1st of July of this year, 2024, has officially been announced to be the date uh, from when the new criminal laws shall be implemented. If you could elaborate a little more as to how the process shall pan out. So this is the Gazette notification that was much awaited. Once it received the Parliament's nod, it was being speculated as to from when uh, the IPC, CRPC and Evidence Act's uh, new Swaroop will make it to uh, implementation stage. Now central government is notifying that that date will be 1st of July 2024. But importantly, uh, the rash and negligent driving section, the Truckers Association, the Transport Association, had protested against this, saying that this is a stringent clause. So that has been kept in abeyance. The government had assured that this particular clause will be reconsidered. And now if you see the Gazette notification for, for uh, uh, BNS, which is the IPC's amended version, uh, it is saying that 106, the section dealing with rash and negligent driving, is not being enforced from 1st of July 2024. There will be further look into that particular section. For all other sections, 1st of July is the D-Day. For you and me, for common citizens of this country, how this will really help matters is now you can register an EFIR. The ease of registering a complaint with the police will be much more. There will be a timeline set for uh, the investigating officer, for the SHO, even for the judicial officers to probe the FIR and the complaint and come to a conclusion whether it should be closed or it should be pursued further. So uh, that, that's the crux of how the citizens are going to benefit from the 1st of July 2024. No thana can now turn you around and say, this is not my jurisdiction. He, that thana concerned officer will have to ensure that a zero FIR is registered and then sent to the relevant thana where the jurisdiction issue can be sought. Right, Arunima. Arunima, other than the section that you pointed out, are there any more challenges that you uh, could just elaborate on a little with regards to what might come up in the way of the implementation from the very 1st of July? There will be hiccups and the government was aware that there will be hiccups uh, because it's not easy. Internet connectivity is an issue in a lot of uh, uh, interior parts of India. Uh, so this uh, thing that I pointed to you about uh, the zero fire facility or a time-bound probe facility, while on paper it looks good in metros like Delhi, Mumbai, it might be easy for the citizen to enforce uh, this right that has been given to him or her by the law. But in interiors of the country, how easy for it will be for the citizen? That will be hiccup number one. Second, to, uh, to just uh, update the constabulary, and that training has already begun. The Bureau of Police Research and Development, BPRND, has been tasked, especially for the CRPC uh, amended law, which is uh, the Suraksha Kanun. Uh, for that also, there, is a, there are a lot of procedures that have to be adopted that have been elaborated in that particular law. So proper training is required, proper sensitization is uh, required. Uh, there are timelines for judicial officers also. The training has been going on. Uh, not just on the police side, but on the court side as well. The government is hopeful that in the next four months, uh, we are in February uh, end right now, uh, March, April, May, June, and then 1st of July. So over the next four months, government is hopeful that all these uh, training issues will be sorted out. Once the rollout begins, it will be monitored so that the other issues are ironed out. Right, Arunima. Arunima, thank you for all those details with regards to this particular information.